What's up YouTube, Jason here, Morph Mixology Reptiles. Welcome back to the channel. I really hope you guys are all staying safe and occupied out there during all of this craziness that's going on. Uh, it's, it's finally starting to wear on me too, and I knew it would eventually. Um, thankfully, we, uh, both my wife and I, are still able to work. Uh, that's good news. We're, I'm working kind of a weird five on, five off schedule right now, so we can do minimum staffing, uh, skeleton rotations, and right now I'm on a, a five day stretch of graveyard shifts, overnight shifts, so uh, if I look a little disheveled or tired or uh, mix up my speech a little bit, that's because uh, I am tired and I just, at the time of filming this, I just woke up from my uh, second night of graveyard shifts, so anyway, Today's video, we've got a really cool new project uh, that we're working on, snake project. And it's a, a, the ones I like to call my pet projects. So you guys know we've got the wall of snake displays that have our other than ball python pets in them. And most of which we are gonna breed at some point. So uh, got a new addition to that project, but I have a little bit of house cleaning stuff I'd like to do first. Then we'll get into the unboxing and show you the new animal. First of all, before we start, let me say a huge shout out, thank you to all of you that follow us on Instagram. We just hit 23,000 followers on Instagram. That's freaking crazy and incredible. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much. Right here at Morph Mixology, if you're not already, we're almost to 25,000. That's gonna be awesome. Thank you guys so much for following. We did between the last egg pulling video and this one get another set of eggs um i found them late at night so i didn't have a chance to uh, do a video on it but another set of eggs in there like if it'll focus there we go this one's from uh, rogue the pastel female bred to pharaoh the cinnamon ultramel laid on uh, april 6th eight beautiful eggs and no slugs so they're due June 1st. The other clutch, our first clutch here, is going really good. These easy hatch trays are working perfect. I love these, so two in the incubator, many more to come. Speaking of clutches to come, I think we're in the, the home stretch here. This one I'm super excited about. It's our big clown female, Penny. She was bred to a GHI Mojave possible het clown that's Mowgli so really hoping he proves out and we hit some GHI GHI Mojave clowns that will be killer so she's coming in today now and this girl's doing about five or six days I'm really excited to see these this is Jane the Maho mahogany het pied bred to Tarzan also a mahogany het pied so Suma pieds hopefully on the way and I'll show you one more here. Meg, our big pied female, just looking massive. Doing really good. She was bred to Hercules, the scaleless head head pied. So looking for some scaleless head pieds in that pairing. And real quick too, I wanted to say a huge thank you and I'm sorry uh, to everybody that got in on the new swag order, the new merch order for us. Um, obviously, with everything that's happened and the COVID and everything, the local print shop, I'm having them made locally here in town because uh, the quality is so much better and I can monitor the, the printing and that makes make sure that they go really well. Um, Obviously they have shut down, they, they're not considered an essential business, so they're closed until the uh, governor opens the state to let us go back to work, which thank you guys for being patient with us. Uh, the order is in, they are literally just waiting to be released back to work so that they can print them. So just bear with me, I really appreciate your patience, they are coming. If you guys wanna get in on that order and haven't already since they've been delayed, um, I can go ahead and add you to that order and it'll print when they open up, which looks like it's gonna be here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, hopefully the end of the month, they'll be ready to go and they can get back to work. So real quick, 
t-shirts, long sleeve, hoodie, and then the fun stuff that was honestly more for me, but if you want one, I've already had people order them. Polos, hats, and rocks glasses, and coffee cups. So if you guys want any of that stuff, um, DM me on Instagram or uh, shoot me an email or whatever, and I'll get you in on that order. It's stuff's gonna be super cool. Uh, for the rest of you that have been asking, I do have stickers now. These are not the final product. This was this was me testing a different company. Uh, they look fine, but it's not exactly what I want. I didn't really want the white border necessarily, but they look cool anyway. They kind of look like a coaster, which is kind of neat. And then uh, obviously straight from Sticker Mule, the best sticker company I've ever dealt with. Not sponsored, but I would love to be. So. Um, same thing as always, I'll change them up on the website when I get a chance, I, I just haven't done it yet. You can uh, message me directly, $3 each in the mail or five for both or two of each one, you know, five for a pair. Um, and then I'll probably throw in some extras of the other styles that we've done of the old logo and that along the way. So send me a message on Instagram uh, or these, you can, um, if you want, if I haven't updated it yet online on the website, morphmixology.com. Uh, if you order, say, a pair on the website of the old logo, you'll get these, and I'll probably throw the old one in anyway. So, um, yeah, new stickers. Really excited on these. If you want them, hit me up. All right, as for the changes on the displays, you'll notice Sabrina is now over here on the right side. Um, I did make some changes to the interior. I wanted more of like a naturalistic look. I'm going to add some more foliage in here, some greenery. Uh, I just got to wait till. Hobby Lobby opens again. Uh, but I went down to the river and got some really cool driftwood pieces, cut them to fit, and then you just uh, you clean the bark really well, and then go ahead and put them in the oven at like 200, 250 degrees, something like that, for two or three hours, and it makes sure that they're all nice and clean. But Sabrina loves this spot over here that kind of, my wife calls it the Lion King ledge here that she lays out on in this little rock from Universal Rock up here. But she's in this one with the tree now. So where did uh, Jameson go is the next question. Well, I wanted to leave the other big cage open, so I moved him up here. He wasn't crazy arboreal anyway, so it's not a huge deal. Um, and I, I, want, I gave him this one so he does have a little bit of climbing. He likes to hide under that ledge and now he can ball up on top or get back in the corner and that. Um, but he's doing really good in this three by two by one. Uh, he really likes it up here. And like I said, he wasn't crazy arboreal, but he's got a little bit of climbing area. But that means that Simba is not where he used to be. That's because Simba is now on this side. Do you see him? See, I realized with the Doomerals boas that they're obviously completely terrestrial and they don't need to climb at all. And Simba likes to bury himself in the bedding in the cocoa blocks regularly. So he didn't need, he didn't need the ledge or the hiding spot. You can see him kind of hiding right back there. He's actually in the back, which is uh, unusual. Usually you'll see him buried and then you'll find his head like right here in the front just watching you but he's in the back now. He seems to be doing really well. He's going into shed and eating great still, so he's up here. But that means if you guys are paying attention, Miko's gone. So what we ended up doing is, I really enjoyed Miko, and I will definitely uh, still have short tails in the future. Um, but unfortunately, we, we weren't really paying attention when we picked him up, and I kind of wish he was a girl, a female obviously, uh, because like most snakes, the females take quite a bit longer to get ready to breed than the males do. So I've got an almost breeder ready male that I can't do anything with. So, and I needed the cage space because I don't have, I don't have the room to build more cages until, unless and until we redo the racks, which is a whole separate thing down the road. So uh, Miko went to a, new home in Wisconsin. The new owners there are super happy with him and I was very happy with the transaction. And we'll get more short tails, probably blood pythons next uh, down the road. 
but he's out. And so the reason why is because we needed this cage open. Same thing as Sabrina's. I went and got some really cool driftwood pieces. I'm gonna add some more foliage in that. But we terraced the rocks in the back so there's lots of caving. You know, left this one in that was in before and then added this big piece here that I found. Uh, when Sabrina was in here with this setup, she really liked being kind of over, you know, up here in that. So, uh, yeah, but this is now open and ready for our new addition. So let's go ahead and unbox what's going in here and show you what our new pet project is. All right, guys, here is she, or he, rather, here he is. Uh, this one comes from Travis at Living Legless Reptiles. If that name sounds familiar, that's because that is Brian Cusco's buddy down there in Southern California that he did the uh, breeder loan with Sangria, his big blood python, Brian's blood python, uh, to Travis's big matrix blood. And they did the repairing again this year as well. So Travis is a super nice guy, really easy to work with. Um, I'll put all of his info, will be the first thing down in the description, obviously. But you got Travis at Living Legless Reptiles. Smart guy has stuff on the back of his cards. Marketing expert once told me, always put something on the back of your business cards because if not, somebody will use them as a notepad. Speaking of which, hang on a second. For those of you that didn't see on Instagram, our business cards came in too. I like the vertical orientation, it's different. It'll show up on the table, a little bit different, you know. Got a nice high gloss on the front. And then again, always put something on the back. I'm not gonna tell you where that QR code goes, but it does work, it's pretty interesting. So have you guessed yet what it's going to be? Pause the video, down in the comments, what do you think it's going to be? Super excited for this guy. Oh, he's even cooler than I thought. This is Sabrina's new buddy. That's right, we're getting into carpet python breeding Next season, Sabrina should be ready this fall. And this guy came available from Travis and I just had to, had to get him. Look at this. Huge thank you to Travis uh, for letting this mail go and let me get into this project. He's a freaking killer. I'm super excited to have him. Let's turn him loose in his new home and see how he looks. Have it guys harvey is loving his new setup looks incredible 
super excited to have him in the collection and super excited to get to next season and see what he and Sabrina can come up with. I think that's gonna be a really cool pairing. Um, this, I'll show you the two side by side since they're both up on their perches, but it just, I'm really excited for this. Uh, I've got big plans for the room. Hopefully this season goes really well and I can, uh, I can make some of those happen. And if that's the case, this is not the end of our Morelia uh, journey by any stretch. So huge thank you to Travis if you're watching and thank you to Eric at uh, EB Morelia for helping me out with the lineage and you know reading guides and care and everything else. So super fun to be into a new element of snake breeding. But that's going to do it for this week guys. I hope you guys are all staying well and keeping your sanity as much as possible throughout this whole ordeal. Um, I'd like to believe that we are on the back side of it now and hopefully can get back to some level of normalcy here very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.